Over recent months, Tesla has finally introduced the cheaper Model Y standard. But despite being labeled as a lower-priced option, many people feel that it still doesn't truly qualify as affordable. With a price tag of around $39,990, a lot of buyers believe it simply doesn't justify the money. Especially when spending only a little more unlocks better Tesla models or even strong competing vehicles from other brands. For anyone not urgently needing a Tesla right now, Many analysts suggest skipping this model altogether and instead waiting for Tesla's upcoming lower cost vehicle expected to be roughly 25% cheaper and projected to launch next year. This car is widely believed to be Tesla's insurance strategy in case the Model Y standard doesn't achieve the sales volumes the company hopes for. A series of leaks coming out of Fremont, renewed involvement of Chinese suppliers, and major shifts in Tesla's structural Casting strategy have strengthened speculation that the long-talked-about Model 2 or Model Q is finally nearing reality. This rumored compact hatchback may be exactly what Tesla's lineup has been missing, potentially arriving around the $30,000 mark. If the circulating leaks prove reliable, it could become one of the most competitive EVs globally in both the United States and China. While it may not match the Model 3 or Model Y in refinement, or luxury, it could easily become Tesla's most transformative mass market product yet. For years, Elon Musk has mentioned developing an affordable entry level Tesla priced close to $25,000. But as with earlier ambitious Tesla promises like the Cybertruck's original expectations, many people were left disappointed when the results didn't fully align with early hype. The Cybertruck launched far more expensive than originally implied and the Model Y standard has fallen into a similar trap. Too reduced in features yet still not priced low enough. Unsurprisingly, it hasn't generated the excitement Tesla hoped for. As buyers can spend slightly more and access higher tier Tesla models or even cross shop competing, EVS such as the Chevrolet Equinox EV or Toyota BZ models, which in some respects even offer stronger perceived value and refinement. Many Tesla supporters, despite their admiration for the company, were never particularly convinced by the Model Y standard because the compromises felt too significant for the asking price. Had Tesla priced it around $35,000, the reaction might have been different. But this model clearly isn't the company's final attempt at making an affordable EV. Tesla continues to refine manufacturing efficiency and implement new innovations to reduce costs which is why the likelihood of a far cheaper Tesla arriving soon feels increasingly realistic. Internal reports suggest that the new, compact Tesla will likely be produced in the United States at the Fremont factory and is targeted for a debut, around mid-2026. With Elon Musk reportedly demanding that the design, specifications, and engineering framework be fully locked in ahead of launch, Musk himself has hinted that this could be among the most memorable Tesla reveals ever. Although he refuses to publicly confirm details until the official announcement. Interestingly, ever since rumors surfaced, the Tesla community has split sharply between skepticism and enthusiasm. Some argue that in order to hit a $30,000 price point, the car would inevitably feel cheap, underfeatured, and disappointing. Others believe it finally opens the Tesla experience to millions of new customers who've admired the brand for years but couldn't justify the higher cost of existing models even if that means accepting a few compromises. Although still unofficial, early leaks from Giga Texas and information from Chinese. Component suppliers strongly suggest Tesla has already begun active preparation. Supplier documentation claims that Tesla has requested parts for an all-new compact hatchback, reinforcing speculation that the Model 2 or Model Q will be distinctly smaller than the Model 3 and Model Y. Unlike Tesla's lineup dominated by sedans and SUVs, this would introduce a brand new body style not previously offered by the company. Musk has emphasized that the car will be heavily simplified, but it won't simply be a smaller copy of current Teslas. Instead, it will be given its own unique design identity, perhaps the most crucial technology enabling. Tesla to realistically reach this lower price bracket lies in its battery strategy. Reports indicate that Tesla plans to use CATL's latest shank scene to LFP battery, 
which maintains affordability while delivering shockingly strong charging performance and impressive range claims. Traditionally, LFP batteries are valued for safety, durability, and cost. But they typically lag behind lithium-ion in driving range and fast charging capability. However, Shang seemed to push his LFP capabilities much further. With claims of up to nearly 500 miles of potential range, incredibly fast charging speeds, and solid cold weather performance, the battery is reported to deliver around 320 miles of realistic driving range with the possibility of recharging massive amounts of energy within minutes, dramatically improving practicality. Because of this efficiency, Tesla might even downsize the battery pack to around 50 kilowatt hours to keep prices low while still maintaining strong range figures. If that turns out to be true, a $30,000 Tesla capable of traveling close to 300 miles per charge would become a nearly unmatched value proposition in today's EV landscape. Externally, rumors suggest that the car's design will look sharper and more modern than the Model Y standard, while presenting a clearly different personality compared to existing. As a compact hatchback, it will naturally be smaller, but this reduced size actually benefits manufacturing efficiency. With advancements in giga casting, Tesla may be able to produce the main vehicle structure as a nearly single casting piece. Something not fully executed on the Model Y or Model 3 by dramatically reducing parts count, joints, and assembly complexity. Production speed increases, visual appearance improves, and cost drops significantly. Musk has even hinted that this vehicle could experience the fastest production ramp in Tesla's entire history. Earlier speculation suggested radical door systems like Falcon Wings or unconventional cyber cab style entrances. But Tesla appears to have abandoned those ideas. Recognizing that flashy engineering increases cost and complexity, instead, the Model 2 is expected to retain a practical, traditionally oriented four door layout designed for everyday functionality rather than spectacle. This aligns with Tesla's strategy of focusing on meaningful efficiency rather than unnecessary gimmicks. Despite its affordability focus, the vehicle reportedly retains important Tesla hallmarks, such as a front bumper camera and support for autonomous driving technologies, meaning owners may eventually be able to integrate their vehicles into Tesla's robo-taxi network to generate income. When the car is not in personal use, inside the cabin, Tesla is expected to take aggressive cost-cutting measures while attempting to maintain the signature Tesla feel. The central touchscreen may shrink to roughly 10.5 to 11 inches. Still powerful, but more economical than the large 15-inch display. Tesla may further move away from physical stocks and mechanical controls toward more software-based and touch-dependent. Interaction like the refreshed Model 3, helping reduce mechanical complexity and long-term maintenance issues. Some premium comforts could disappear, such as leather-like seating materials, heated seats, panoramic roofing, and advanced sound insulation, resulting in a simpler and more utilitarian interior. Musk has repeatedly stated that customers who want premium luxury already have the Model SX, or better equipped versions of the three, and why this new vehicle is unapologetically aimed at affordability and widespread accessibility. Initially rumored to be built in Texas, production emphasis has reportedly shifted toward Fremont. Fremont's long history as Tesla's core development factory gives it tremendous manufacturing experience, serving as a real-world laboratory to refine advanced technologies before spreading them to other plants. It is also geographically strategic, positioned close to Tesla's AI and autopilot engineering teams, enabling faster development cycles. At troubleshooting and system integration. Producing the Model 2 in the United States also strengthens Tesla's eligibility for manufacturing incentives and helps present it as an accessible, domestically produced EV, although Fremont has higher labor expenses. Tesla compensates through mature production expertise, efficiency, and reduced defect rates. After a relatively stagnant year where Tesla's lineup lacked a truly breakthrough product and sales momentum slowed, especially as the Model S and X serve limited markets and Cybertruck remains niche and expensive. The company desperately needs a compelling mass market. 
affordable EV designed from scratch, rather than a stripped-down version of an existing one. The Model Y standard proved that simply removing features without significantly dropping price only frustrates dyers rather than exciting them. Many customers viewed it as neither premium nor affordable enough to justify its existence. Meanwhile, global competition, particularly from Chinese EV manufacturers and hybrid alternatives, continues intensifying. The market is signaling loud and clear that what consumers now want is a genuinely new Tesla engineered for value, efficiency, modern performance, and accessibility. This is exactly where the Model 2 is expected to step in. If the leaks align with reality, Tesla may finally deliver a truly affordable, competitive next-generation electric car capable of reshaping the EV segment much like the Model 3 once did.